Dear readers of the European Sting, there's one thing that drew my attention last week. The peculiar result of the Italian elections. Pierluigi Bersani, the center-left politician, that was anticipated to be the winner of the elections, did make it through in the House of Representatives securing a minor difference from Italy's resurrected political caricature, Silvio Berlusconi. However, the Cavalieri's coalition won the majority in the Senate, raising questions about the bizarre ability of the Italians to forget and forgive. But the oddest decision of the Italian voter is nothing but the 25% of the votes given to a comedian, Babe Grillo. This is not a joke. The third party of Italy that is powerful enough to block the formation of a government is led by a famous Italian comedian, exercising satire against everybody and everything in the Italian political system. I mean what's next in Europe? Should we expect Cristiano Ronaldo to be elected Prime Minister of Portugal because he scored many goals against Barcelona and El Clasico? Truth is that Europeans are in dire straits. It's been nearly four years of austerity now and the only things that we witnessed are unemployment rise, companies' bankruptcy, violence, and even complete humiliation and socio-political devastation of countries like Greece. The result of the Italian elections confirms that Europeans, especially South Europeans, are boiling in high temperature. And this is not because of the sunny climate, but because of the sadist austerity policy in Europe that has one sole purpose, to make Germany even stronger. The Italians laughed at the face of Merkel, Schubel, Monti and their peer, and they put a comedian in front to humiliate them. The Italian desperation is reasonable. What is not reasonable is to protest by committing suicide. How on earth can a five-star hotel coalition with no hierarchy, political experience, obscure and unknown background, not even physical address to send them a letter to represent a European nation that is the third biggest economy in the old continent, Super Bape after the election result, even came out to state that the previous political figures in Italy created anger without hope and that he and his five-star hotel movement is creating anger with hope, and that anger with hope is democratic anger. Oh, my, God. The value of this phrase is equal to my dog's morning poop at the park. I am wondering, do all Italians know that due to a criminal conviction against him, he is not even allowed to step inside the parliament? This is not a joke anymore. This is a tragedy. How is it possible for a European nation with very rich culture and history to vote for Charlie Chaplin as their political leader? One thing is for sure. The Italians have had enough with austerity. So much that they take the risk to leave their country to be a ship without a captain, in order to show to the Troika that the years of austerity are over. Brussels and Berlin, in order to protect the European banking system, planted the seed of poverty and desperation a few years ago and sooner or later this would happen. How was it possible for those wise technocrats to assimilate Europe with Mugabe's Zimbabwe? Europeans have been living in democracy for thousands of years. No bank is stronger in Europe than one single vote of one person from one of the 27 country members, you arrogant bureaucrats. You expected Europeans to accept their lives to be destroyed in a few years' time without any concrete growth plan from your side, just to save the banks. Look what you have done now. The political system in Europe is in turmoil. What next? The Italians elected an ignorant comedian. Do you really think that the desperate Greeks will not elect Cyprus Eurosceptic Left Party next time? Are you alarmed enough with far-right growing neo-fascist political parties in Europe? like the Greek Golden Dawn, that are gaining more than 10% of the people's vote, you were mad if you ever thought you could devastate people's lives, turning the European South into the protectorate of the poor so that you can fund the banks. I am not entirely sure how the European crisis began or who exactly pulled the trigger, even though I am quite confident it was not a backfire, but one thing is for sure. The people of Europe have hit enough. This is not Sudan where a dictator can impose any strict measures he digs. This bad recipe of yours needs to change fast before comedians and fascists take the steering wheel of Europe. Then, it will be too late. Until next week, join the hive.